one at the front and one at the rear. Be directed to one of these areas by your crew. If you are travelling with small children, you can please ask you keep them here at all times. And if you are moving about up and down at the rear stairs, you can please ask.
brief is imaginatively named. There are a number of walks that wind their way across the headlands, including a fantastic trail from Taronga Zoo around to Balmoral Beach. On the shore to our right is the Sydney Institute of Marine Science. They do some great work researching and protecting Sydney Harbour. If you pop your snorkel on and go for a swim, you might even be able to spot some resident seahorses. The white seahorse and the pot-bellied seahorse calling Chowder Bay home. estimated to be seven million dollars but ended up costing all to build. The iconic sails are clad with more than one million roof tiles which were imported from Sweden and cover approximately 1.62 hectares. The Opera House plays host to entertainers and acts from all over the world. We're now coming into Sydney Cove which was chosen as the spot to set up the colony of Sydney in 1788 because of its secure anchorage points and nearby fresh water. It was also an important cove to the Eora people was one of the first sites of contact between the European settlers and the original inhabitants of the area. Old settlement in Sydney dating back to 17. 